Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Lego The Hobbit Free Room. And we're gonna scavenge our way through troll shaws and get the quests and collectibles taken care of. Unfortunately, there are no red bricks found, at least at this time in this area. But we are gonna pick up nine mithril bricks, and we're also gonna go uh, take old Mrs. Troll out for a date. No, I'm just kidding. We are gonna pick her up, though, and put her in our pile of characters. But uh, first, call in your ca -ca -ca -ca! and let's get rolling, right? All right, so real quick, let's go ahead and address the quick links down below in the video description. If you're new to Happy Thumbs Gaming, welcome. And uh, we try to make things easy as possible by putting uh, collectibles in uh, time frames and uh, putting those time frames down below in quick links so you can click to them and skip through each of them as you go. So I will note real quick that as you play these free world areas, there are definitely missions that are multiple layers. Some of them require uh, you know other missions to be or quests to be completed before they will open. So uh, in some cases, we're going to be uh, you know not seeing quests until we complete others. So you may look at an area and only see two or three quests. You may skip to one and uh, see that you don't have one and realize, well, how do I get it? Well, make sure you do all the other quests available in the area, and it should present itself. Now, that was a little bit of a cheeky area right there, a little bit of a bad edit. To be honest, I fell in the water six or seven times. I had the hardest time. My wife was sitting here laughing at me because uh, I couldn't get across the simple little rock jump. But uh, nonetheless, we're back at it. That's actually where we're headed, right over there, up on top of that mountain. And we will need a rowboat and a bow and arrow to get there. Back in the bottom left corner of Rivendell, and I know you're going, wait a minute, this is, says Troll Shaws, but we're in Rivendell. We are just knocking these out by the travel statues. So a couple of them are going to leak into the other areas, as we mentioned. Um, just like earlier when we were talking about uh, some have prerequisites. Well, some of them start in one area and end in another. This one happens to be kind of in a neutral zone, so we just went ahead and grabbed it. Uh, it was the furthest one away from where we started, or one of the furthest ones away. We're going to go ahead and spin to win all the way to the top. Pretty easy. Just use an arrow and an elf. And... Uh, Mix in with a lot of love, and you'll spin all the way to the top. And at the very, very top, use the checkerboard to jump up, and boo, you can shout. We're at the top of the mountain. Look at that. Sauron just jumps up from the backside. He had the old super hops. It's got to be the shoes. Money, it's got to be the shoes. All right, so use an arrow again to go ahead and destroy the target, and it'll open up the treasure. And we will go ahead and grab that mithril brick and move on. I'm going to destroy a few things. Why am I leaving this in here? Why am I doing this? Well, there's a purple stud lurking behind that tree. So uh, if you're like me at all, you're going to want to make sure you grab that poiple. And we can go ahead and target our next brick, which is way back in Troll Shaw. So we're going to recommend that you leave Rivendell's rooftop, because that's basically where we were. And uh, get your caca -ca and fly back over to Troll Shaw. Cha -cha! Troll Shaw's. Ca -ca to Troll Shaw's. There we go. Took me a minute to get that one right, but I got her. Woohoo. All right. So we're going to follow the yellow brick road, and it's actually, we're supposed to take a right here, but I got a little uh, zealous, overzealous, that is, and uh, went the wrong way. So we're going to follow that back around, and it's going to take us right back to this gentleman over here. And he's going to ask us for a little bit of a favor. And uh, basically, he says that there's some trolls inside. And, uh, well. Let's go see what let's go see what's going down in there. He's a little excited jumping for joy here. Needing our help. You're a little I guess he's excited we're helping him. Alright, so here's the troll in here. And it's old Mama Troll. And she's got a little bit of some buddies coming in that help as well. But we sped this up uh, quite a bit because, well, you don't need to see me fight this. It's same old, same old. You gotta basically lure her into one of these rocks and she will then smash and go cuckoo for cocoa puffs and when she does you got to double down with the little guys and uh you know a couple dwarfs a hobbit and a dwarf something like that and uh, do the old double attack just like you would with a uh, the big crack in the wall or uh, you know a lot of the other enemies we faced along the way so eventually you'll you'll hit her that third time and she'll go crying off into the woods and then Buddy here will say thank you and reward us with a nice mithril brick. All right, so two of the nine down, right? Oh, yeah. 
All right, so uh, right outside that little uh, cave there, we're going to go ahead and target the next one, which we quickly realize that's actually right back inside there. So uh, basically you have to reset the area by leaving it, and now we're going to go back in it. And inside this time, it's different. It's not Mrs. Troll attacking us. She's all so sad. Boo-hoo. And now basically what we're going to do here is uh, help her out. You can see here she... Um, is a little upset that her son's got turned to stone in the movies and earlier in the story mode and free play, I guess. You might remember uh, the trolls sitting around the fire and we turn them to stone or Gandalf comes in and does. Well, uh, she needs an apron. It's actually a treasure item found in one of the free play or stories. But uh, yeah, by now you should most certainly have completed and grabbed all of the mini kits and treasures in our free play videos. And if you did, you won't have to go or travel anywhere. If you didn't, you're going to have to go back and play some levels. And to be honest with you, I don't know which one it is off the top of my head. And shame on you for not completing all the free play and trying to do free roam. No, I'm just kidding. You can do whatever you want, but we recommend it. It's a lot less traveling back and forth. It'll be a lot less time spent playing the game as well. So if you want to spend eight weeks playing it, that's great. If you want to spend eight hours playing it, well, we can help. Get as close to that as possible. Eight hours is a pretty small time to play this in Platinum it or 100% it. But anyways, we uh, we gave her the apron. We left the cave. Right outside the cave, she's outside here again. She's actually pretty quick for a big old troll. And uh, this time, she's wanting us to help decorate her three sons. So right off the bat, there's a couple of bricks bouncing. Build them up into kind of a nice little tall pat for the first young gentleman. And uh, I guess he'll be forever young now that he's stoned. <laughs> And uh, we'll go ahead and use Sam or the, uh, you know, any of the shovels, I believe, will do the trick. But Sam is for sure. And once you get the flower up top, it's another flower hat. All the way up top, you could probably see that from the bottom. There is a target on a honey hive. And go ahead and blast that. And the beehive will fall down. And all three boys will have hats. You'll make this troll mother oh so happy. And uh, so happy uh, she's actually going to sell herself here in a minute. I'm not even kidding. And I don't mean in, in that kind of a way. I mean, like, straight up, she's going to, like, uh, devote her life to our crew for a measly 15,000 studs, as you can see there. So back to the cave we go. Even though she's standing right there, she's going to be inside this cave now and available for purchase. So, oh, yeah. Who's your favorite troll? Do you have a favorite troll? I know there's a couple of them. I don't even have them all yet. Uh, got to get them all. You can see there's an, at least another one right over there and another one. Yep, there's at least two more. Pretty sure. Might even be a third one. But, uh, yeah, we got that one knocked out, so we're going to go ahead and target the next one, which is actually right out back here. Uh, there is a little bit of a rough edit that just happened right there. And uh, basically, we're going to recommend that you use the old Barrel Man because he spins to win, and that's what we're after, right? Victory? Uh, you can use a couple of different things. The uh, fireworks bow might help because it's explosive. I, I'm not sure if it'll actually hurt them. But basically, I was having a hard time with Legolas's arrows, and I thought that'd be the case. Then I thought about using the triple arrows, and I thought, no, nah, th it's not like you need to hit them more than once. It's just a matter of targeting them and getting them before they disappear. So Barrel Man spins pretty quick, moves pretty quick. Uh, you know, That's my piece of advice for you if you're having troubles with another character. Otherwise, uh, you know, use whoever's comfortable for you. Next is the Cozy Cove. Actually, it's Cozy Cave. It's right around the corner. You probably walk by this place a time or two while trudging around Middle Earth. But in this little cave, there's a dude, and he's like, uh, Hey, man, I'm in the dark. Like, who turned out the lights already, huh? Actually, that's not what he says at all. He says, My cave is uh, quite boring and cold, and it'd be awful nice of you to go ahead and light this fire. Now, again, we're going to go ahead and look the other way while Sam lights these fires. It does recommend using a tinderbox, and uh, although I believe the process is about the same as what Sam does, Sam always can light those fires for you. So, uh, as you can see here, it says tinderbox treasure item. So, you should have that from uh, rolling through the levels on our free play videos. And there he goes, rolling whatever he is. Get it going. Boy, you can shout. Like I said, I'm not going to question what uh, what's going on there, but it's working. So a little friction brings sparks, sparks bring fire, and fire brings happiness to this young lad in the cave. And last but not least, once all of them are lit, I think there's, what, there's five of them, four or five of them. 
And uh, we'll go ahead and light them all, and then, bam, he says he's going to give us a bucket of chicken. No, actually, he wanted a bucket of chicken. I don't know if there's any Middle Earth KFCs there, buddy. But uh, he pays us our mithril brick, and regardless if he gets his mashed potatoes and gravy or not, we're out. And this one was a little bit tricky. It was kind of confusing. It wants to lead you up and around and over, but we found a quicker, easier way. Uh, it will require a wizard, and it will require, well, it won't require an elf, but we recommend just because of the extra hops. But you guys might remember this from earlier. And we're going to go ahead, and not earlier in this video, but earlier in the uh, free room because we have been here once before. Had to crank open that door, right? All right, so now up top, once we get up on top of this mountain, it sure saved us a hassle of running all the way around. We can see that there are some bushes on the right-hand side over there, and that uh, little s informational stone guided us to look at it, giving us the code green, red, green. And then we can use Ori's slingshot to fill up them bags with coal. And uh, obviously you saw it brought the bridge down, and now we've moved all the way to the back following the yellow brick road. So this is a, uh, a little bit of a speed test. And uh, again, we're going to use the hops because uh, why not? He's got some good hops. We missed the jump there and had to come back with a bad edit. And look at this. We even fell to the ground and left it in. So failure is uh, an option here. It most certainly uh, has a high probability in most cases. But uh, use an elf. If you find the elf's jumping too far for you, then uh, definitely switch to somebody else. But those last two jumps at the end, it surely helps to have that little extra oomph. And I don't mean like, oomph, 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 like we're at a rave or anything. That was the last video. And uh, all right. So once we get that done, there's a little, uh, I don't know, it's like a trap door, like a cellar. Ooh, purple stud. And a little cellar over here. We'll go ahead and jump on in here. You can see the arrow pointing down as if we didn't know. I'll go ahead and I'll correct that for him. And yeah, he says, <laughs> I'm not sure why he said that, but uh, he said, isn't that what PFFFFT stands for? All right, so this is a maze. We're going to help Buddy get out of the maze. There's a couple stone switches. Uh, one will open and close the doors. And you don't need to use the mining minigame. You can pass that up. And there you can see we uh, pushed the red and green lever there, pushed it and opened it. And we can see there's also a crank back here. So this crank will then be used to go ahead and lower this wall. Bam. All right, so we've got the uh, second half of the puzzle all sorted for him. And we haven't even started the mission yet. So essentially, we wanted to leave that how it was because... Actually, no, I take that back. We wanted to switch it because he had to get through. So yay. Puzzle is all prepped and ready to go for our little lost orc. And, you know, it kind of saddens me. We only have one more collectible for this video after this one, and then we're on to the next one. So hopefully you guys are finding these videos useful. I'm trying to keep them entertaining. Sometimes it's uh, a little bit harder than other times but you can see this guy's like a little confused he's like oh where do i go there's another switch over there to bring it back so once you flip it open you're gonna have to kind of close it i guess would be the appropriate wording and uh keep in mind i have character studs and a multiplier on so every time i smash this dude's backside and get studs i'm getting paid all right fresh air that's right i can't imagine what the old cave must smell like especially if you've been stuck in there for a while I didn't see any mess on the ground there, but, uh, yeah, hopefully he hasn't been in there too long. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and leave the cave and see what's on outside. Oh, we got one more mission right around the way. I actually got fooled and thought, okay, well, it's right back in the cave. So I jumped down in there, as you saw a little bit of an edit there. And uh, turns out, nope, he's right around the corner here. So he's standing here, and all we need to do is go find his wog. It's a hard one to say because it's spelled warg, but it's like wog, like W-A-W-G is pretty much how they say it, huh? I don't know. I'm not a Tolkienite. I'll probably get uh, slammed for uh, even attempting that one. The informational stone basically says uh, follow your compass down in the bottom left-hand corner there as well as the yellow brick road. Well, that's one we haven't seen yet. Or I don't know, even know if anyone's ever suggested that. Lego the Wizard of Oz. That could be kind of cool, too. Dorothy going through. Think about it. Tin Man being able to break, like, the silver bricks and whatnot. That's, uh, I'm on to something there, I think. I, and I don't know if I've ever heard, had anybody suggest that. Had lots of suggestions, but uh, I think that's a new one. All right, the warg is just basically out there, and uh, the wog is out there. And uh, get him, ride him, bring him back, make this little guy happy. He'll dance a little jig. He calls him Dumpling? What? That's a little weird. 
All right, and that's it. We're going to take a quick peek at the map just to make sure that you believe us. That whole left side of the, the river there is now complete. We do have a couple of items uh, that we will be tackling in the next one. It's right across the river from us, and they're right within our reach. But, uh, yeah, that'll go ahead and wrap up Lego the Hobbit Free Roam Troll Shaws Quests and Collectibles. Wow, that's a mouthful. And uh, hopefully you guys found it helpful, and uh, let us know. We've been getting a lot of good feedback from you guys and a lot of, uh, a lot of thank yous. And uh, we weren't sure if this free roam series was going to be uh, that much of a necessity, but it turns out it's actually being pretty helpful in more than a handful of cases. So, hey, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. Our HappyThumbsGaming.com website is available as well. We've got a whole bunch of new articles going up. Um, well, I wouldn't say daily, but we're working on that. We're trying to get new daily content for you. If you guys want to help out and do some writing, perhaps, um, especially if you have a background in writing and doing reviews, uh, we can work on getting you some uh, potential games to look at and review. Most likely, most likely. Don't 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 set the bar too high though. We're talking like PC and mobile games. Uh, that's that's what uh, we're after right now. We're trying to broaden our horizon. So uh, yeah, if you guys are interested, stop by and check us out. Send us a send us a hey, what's going down through our contact form or message us on Facebook or Twitter, whichever it's easiest for you. So as always, until next time. Ba-ba-ba-ba!